Doug and Chris here talking about the Video Workhorse series, new series from Think Tank. Um, so the, we have a series of three bags, and they're built specifically for videographers who just want to put everything in uh, in their bag. They may have a, a smaller kit, you know, a handheld camcorder or a small rig, um, but they're also carrying audio with them. They're carrying their tools. This is their this is their workhorse. This is their tool bag. So we have three sizes: the 19, the 21, and the 25. Right. So let's start again by talking about who would actually use these cases. So let's open this one yep. up and let's look at that camera. Okay. So let's tip this. Right. So you have a C Canon C100 in here uh, with a 7200 attached. You got two other lenses. Um, then you also have a little bag. Um, it's got all my lavaliers in here. Um, no, so this bag doesn't come with the bag, but it's got all my audio stuff in it. Right, so again, the concept of these cases is that the camera remains assembled, right? And so they can put it in here almost completely assembled and it's still protected. Right, yeah, it's, 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 it's mostly assembled. It's somewhere in between, let's say, our transport cases and our, and our rig roller. It's not right. a huge rig, but yet it's not completely broken down. Um, but there's a lot of other you know, additional components. You have your, um, you know, your shotgun mic with your dead cat on it. You have a, your audio recorders, some cables, tools, mm -hmm. an iPad mini. So um, whatever they need to put in, they may, they may have two or three of these, right? Depending on, on what sort of shoot they're doing. And it, and it depends on um, how they like to work. Some people like to break their, their gear down, right? right. And so this would be a, a better kit than, let's say, our rig rollers. So let's talk about one of the key features, which is just the protection. So in the top here, we have, it's basically a, a twin wall ABS material. That's right. And it also has a, an aluminum stave on the inside. Mm -hmm. So what that does in combination with the structure we've created on the outside is that it creates a very sturdy top. And to demonstrate that, oh, this is 45 pounds. <laughs> I'm not a weightlifter. <laughs> anyway, so here's 45 pounds on the existing bag. Right, and so that frame and that top completely supports um, that large amount of weight. I mean, this isn't something that you're gonna to wanna to stand on per se, but you right. can see how protective it is from impact, uh, from bumps, from bruises. Right, especially if people mount on the top, the microphone or the monitor or something like that, right. then it's really susceptible to the top. Right. And you really need the top to protect it. Exactly. Uh, okay. So, and talk a little bit more about the about the features involved. This is a shoulder bag, right? This is one of the most um, common silhouettes, so the common shape of bag and common way that, that people will use it in the marketplace. Um, so this will actually be, you know, this series, excuse me, will be the big seller. Just because uh, within the video industry, people are so used to carrying their audio gear around or carrying their video gear around within, uh, within a shoulder bag. Um, so it does come with this with a shoulder strap, right? It's our uh, ergonomic shoulder strap that Think Tank is known for. And note when you when you put it on, you want the curve to be facing away from the neck. And if you're going across the chest, then you want the curve to be going with the neck. And a lot of people don't don't really get that, but as you can see, if if I lift up, it really conforms to the side of the shoulder. So we also have a a handle pass through if you're putting it over rolling luggage or pelican or, or whatever you may, may be going to and from your gig um, to make that really really handy to because you're going to have a lot of bags with you. Right, it has side handles both sides and the top because mm -hmm. it may be that you're putting this in and out of a truck or sliding it Absolutely. which brings us to a key point which is the bottom. Right, rails on the bottom. There's rails on the bottom but from a construction point of view we made this in a, a special way, which I'm not going to explain because it's too complicated. But the net end result is that the feet are actually lifting the bag off the ground and there's no, there's no part of the bag like the corners that hit the ground. That's a common problem. Right. So we, we solved that in terms of our product engineering. It's a really rigid bottom. It's not like these feet are just going to kind of sink in and, right. and, and the bottom will touch. So rigidity all the way around the Right, bag. so it's very protective. Yeah. So we have the three handles on the top. We have one of our traditional right. top pockets. Mm -hmm. We've got a front pocket. Pocket in the front for you know, flat things, cables, mm -hmm. different accessories. And then if we go back again to the inside, okay. 
two pockets on the inside. Right. You'll you'll, you'll put tools or um, various cabling, maybe audio accessories. Um, so again, you can really customize this bag to however you you like it. We we include um, a couple of these little bolster cushions, so you can really support the the camera. As you can see, take the tie down strap off and then pull out the camera. So this is a C C100, 7200 attached, and then I have this. Um, bolstered under the lens to make sure that there's no no tension there, right? You don't want any tension on that that mounting bracket. So just kind of taking out everything that we've got in here. Right. So you have one big long divider. You don't have to keep that in there, but it helps to um, to subdivide a little bit. Generally, audio accessories will go here. You put a couple of lenses here, but really, videographer's kit will, will completely will be very different compared to let's say a photographer's kit. Um, they're carrying a lot a lot of different types of things. You can't see it, but there's also a metal bar mm -hmm. that goes around the perimeter, and this metal bar is what really creates a lot of structure and prevents it from collapsing. Exactly. Because we're trying to create something which doesn't collapse from every direction. That is the overarching story of our video series, is, is protection. Um, the build, the construction, right. and really how, how bomb-proof these, these things yeah. are. Because really, most of these video rigs are expensive. Right. Very expensive. Right, so you could have $100,000 in this bag, and you want to make sure that that's, that's protected. Yeah. So let's go through the different sizes. This is the medium size. We've got the small one. Mm -hmm. So 19. Right, so we could also put this one in here if we wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it just depends on how much extra gear you have. And again, that 19 is the interior length, so right. it really depends on that, okay. the total length of your of your rig. Okay. Um, you know, you also want to take in, into consideration the height of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on how much extra stuff you want to carry with you. Right. So what's the big one designed for? So this would be for maybe a a, uh, a fully assembled mirrorless rig, or maybe you have two C100s. Um, the the company that we're working with, the production company, I have like eight C100, C300. So um, they're depending on the size of their shoot, um, you know, they'll they'll bring a lot with them. So here you can see, there's you get plenty of space in there, width and height. Um, but for something like this. As you can see, you can't build it up a whole lot more. You could maybe put on a little top handle or something like that. That's that's one thing that people tend to not want to detach. So would this be an alternative to the to the red system? Um, yeah, I mean, you could even put a red in here, mm -hmm. right? Something that that would be more like this, maybe with a top handle. Right. If you're just doing a handheld, or again, it's it's partially assembled, right? There's um, um, there's benefit to only assembling it partially. Uh, some people don't want all the bits and bobs attached as they're going from point A to point B. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we have three sizes. Right. So these are the video workhorses, uh, the 19, the 21, and the 25. So from Think Tank Photo. Thanks for watching.